Everybody knows the basic differences between an acoustic and an electric. The strings are thinner, it needs an amp, people respect you more. But to really understand the difference between the acoustic and the electric, you need to imagine a time before the electric guitar existed. It's just this guy. You know at instrument high, everyone's like, oh, we know acoustic. He's a little quiet, but he's cool. Yeah, he's a little bit rural. He's wood. But now in the freshman class comes his little brother, electric guitar. Wow. wow. Oh Everyone says he can hang with the party crowd, but he also fits in with all of his brother's friends. And sadly, when he was very young, he was in an accident. So now to speak, he needs his amplifier. But he didn't let that slow him down. In fact, he was empowered by it. He got really into tech and started messing around with different gadgets to see what kind of different sounds he could make. He could use distortion, delay, delay reverb, and the sounds that this guy made. They'd never been heard before. He became a cultural icon. He defined generations of music. And for years, younger instruments tried to be like him. And no one ever really came close until laptop. What I'm trying to say, in case you didn't get that, you have to think of all the sounds that only an electric guitar could make. For years and years, if you want to experiment with music, you use an electric guitar. If you play a single note on an acoustic guitar, Sounds fine, but on an electric guitar, with the right effects, with the right pedals, you could change the world. Oh, wow. 